you do know you can get a DNA test through a blood test, right? Yes, I do. But here's the thing with that. The NIPP or NIPT testing is not approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration. And the reason being is because they are not accurate or reliable. And you can feel free to look into that yourself. But there's a lot of other issues that come along with this non-invasive type of testing while the baby is still in utero. And part of that is if the mother has health issues or has genetic issues, her the blood test from the mother can actually cause issues with obtaining any kind of fetal cells that may be in there and isolating them to then test. But to go into that in a simpler way, it's also not admissible in a court of law. And for somebody like Gypsy Rose, who is going through a legal divorce and it is presumed by Louisiana law that her husband is the father and she has to go through these steps to prove that Ken Urker is the father and probably have to amend the birth certificate after the baby is born, even if she gets a beefication, which means that they allow her to be divorced beforehand like some states do allow the divorce would not actually be fully final until after the birth of the child but that all depends on what state you're in and whatnot but the issue here with the NIPP or the NIPT is specifically that Gypsy Rose herself has a chromosome disorder she has a micro deletion of a chromosome and you can look into that but there is other things that can cause issues with the NIPP and the NIPT testing and that is why it is not largely used for an accurate result of who the paternity of that child is. So in order to have an accurate paternity test done while the baby is in utero, you have to basically do an amniocentesis or what they call a CVS. A CVS is like an amniocentesis. They're still using a needle, except for they're not usually going from exterior. They're usually going through the vaginal canal, and they're not just trying to obtain isolated amniotic fluid to get only fetal cells and not have it contaminated that sample but they actually are trying to get essentially a small portion of a certain area of the placenta and that's the area of the placenta where it's attached to the uterus they can't just get the sample from anywhere it has to be that little area so of course they have to do that through the vaginal canal to do that testing. So either which way an amniocentesis or a CVS is invasive and it comes with risk, especially after being 15 weeks pregnant past that point, it comes with even more risk because they suggest between 12 and 15 weeks pregnancy is when you should have this done. Of course, here is an educational diagram on that CVS and what that testing looks like because they are still using the same exact type of needle that they do with amniocentesis. And there's even issues with this one as well because sometimes they cannot get that certain part, so they still have to do an amniocentesis from the exterior. But yes, you are absolutely correct. There are non-invasive ways that they can do testing it's just not something that she can wave around like Gypsy Rose Blanchard and the narcissist that she is. She wouldn't be able to wave that around in everybody's faces and say, ha ha, see, look, because NIPP and NIPT testings can have up to a 70% failure rate, which means that they're not accurate. They're not accurate enough for the scientific, medical, or legal community to uphold it legally medically or scientifically of course it can give you that closure of knowing but if she already knows who her child's father is and she knows that she was not sleeping with her legal husband and she knows that time had lapsed and she knows when her last period i'm sure that gypsy rose knows exactly who she's pregnant by because she's told you but she's also been so obsessed with Ken Urker that it seems very strategic how she got pregnant anyway. So I'm assuming that if she, and that's my own opinion, and that's my assumption that if she was going to have this very risky paternity test done and not just wait a couple months when her baby is due, 
and wait till the risk is no longer there and just wait till the child is born. I'm assuming that she's doing it because she wants accuracy and because she plans on using those results legally admissible in court, which the NIPP and the NIPT testing is, is usually not because it's not recognized.